welcome back uh, today's video i think you'll enjoy this one quite a busy scene again i'm doing uh painting of york this is kind of where the market I, i'm not sure if it's the marketplace or market square something like that but it's quite a nice center of york city center and there's quite a few trees in the middle which i thought is quite interesting there's plenty of people knocking about and so i just thought it's about time i did this painting i've actually done this painting um in oils before and i just wanted to give this a go it's a photo that i've had lying around for quite some years I um, think, I believe it's the first time that I've visited York and this is one of the pictures that I took. So the materials that I'm using, again, I'm using the Bockingford cold press paper, 140 grams, uh, gram, 140 grams in weight and so it's quite a nice paper, takes the pigment quite well. I'm using my Winsor & Newton professional grade watercolours and the brushes I'm using my squirrel mop brushes. So still in the first wash stage so I'm just concentrating on getting the paint down, covering the whites, just leaving the highlights and of course in watercolour you're working from light to dark so you can see on the bottom of the buildings on the right hand side i've actually used even green green blue doesn't matter just get that color down make it interesting change it up uh, this is um, a map you can see there's a chap looking at the um, the map to see where i guess where he's going in his day in York. So there's some windows which I'm just popping in some colour. Um, this this painting probably took me the longest time to uh, draw out because I wanted to get things in the right places, the proportions. Again I'm not fussed on getting things exactly correct. But I wanted to keep things loose and give an impression rather than anything else, an impression of a, a busy city scene. So you can see the way I've drawn um, a few people, a very loose style, and I'm not really, just wanted to get a few bodies in there and a few figures and I'll just add pain just just so that I know where they're going so I'll probably add a few more figures as I get to the paint in the figure stage so just adding in these uh, trees makes quite a nice um, effect to the to the painting I like the way the trees come in and on the on the photograph it's actually there's quite a lot of light coming from um where the trees are the two trees together there's quite a bit of light coming through that gap of the two buildings so i didn't want to complicate things i kind of left that but i'm just wondering now if i should have gone in and sort of brought in a, a brighter sort of light coming through those two buildings So I'm just carefully painting around the people. You can actually paint over them. It depends what you, you're going for. But I thought if I just go around them and be careful just in case I do want a bit of a highlight or just wanted to keep them separate from the background at the moment. And in the photo we've got these nice sort of arch shop sort of doorways. And so that's what I'm doing here. Again, not going for accuracy. You may think the arch on the right hand side, the far right, is quite off. And maybe it is in perspective. But I just wanted to capture the image 
uh, quite loosely and um, quite impressionistic. So you can see how I've painted the shadows and here I'm just, can you see where I'm painting some people? It's just literally a, a brush stroke coming down and that's the body. And later on I'll be um, mixing a skin colour, a skin tone and popping heads on these shapes. And that's all they are, I'm just treating, the, treating them as shapes. Just once you get the heads on they, they do sort of represent or they're quite they do quite look like people and so you don't have to worry with too much detail there is a few darker tones within the windows uh, around the frame bits of um, shadow um, just reflections things like that that you get on windows so just wanted to capture that put that in while I've got this uh, colour and another thing that I've used on this painting I, I'm using my fingers just anything that you're not happy with uh, anything too strong too dark then you can just go over with your finger you don't have to get the brush to do the work you can use your fingers as well and that's something that I've done in this painting I've been a bit more hands-on I've used uh, blotting paper to blot out, but also use my fingers as well, just to get a softer lift of, of paint that's on there. So just adding some darker tones to the trees. You've got some limbs that are behind other limbs of the tree, branches um, that are in the shadow. So I wanted to get that in. And this is probably the darkest part of the painting, just the underside of the uh, sort of archways. And then there's this lovely sign uh, map of York City that this guy is sort of looking at. And so um, I hope you like this one. Um, do leave us a comment. Let me know what you think. Um, is this how you paint people? Has this helped? You can see I'm just bobbing in a few more people. I wanted the impression on this scene of quite a lot of busy, quite a lot of people making it a busy scene. On the reference photo, there's, there is quite a lot of people, probably more than what there is in the painting. But you can see I'm just dabbing in bits of colour. Just wanted to change things up. You don't want everyone in the same sort of, almost like a uniform. Uh, so you just want to pop in bits of colour here and there. Um, you don't have to, you don't have to be perfect with it. You just, you can see the style that I'm doing, just very loose. So yeah, let, let us know what you think. If you like this sort of painting, if you do want to see more cityscapes, then I'm more than happy to do this. Um, I think I'm quite comfortable doing um, city scenes. Uh, people and trees are something that I've been working on and I think maybe it's paying off. I, I feel I need more practice. But I think anyone, if, if I can do it, then I think anyone can do it in a looser approach and just get the impression of people. And if you struggle with trees or anything like that, just get the impression. It's just literally making those marks with the brush and just making them simplified objects. So I'm really coming to the end now, just taking out bits of paint here and there. I found the guy who's reading the map. I found his legs were too prominent, too dark. So I wanted to take some pigment off the paper. And then there's a couple of uh, details that I missed on the left hand side on these buildings. Just some roofs and uh, just some architectural details there. So I'm just capturing that now. It really is a nice city if you've not been to York in the UK. Um, it really is a nice place to visit. Plenty of history. There's the castle. There's the walls going around the city. And so I do recommend um, visiting if you can. 
and let me know if there's anyone watching from York. It'd be quite nice to um, to uh, have any feedback. But what's this place called? This actual square? Is it Market Square? What, what's the name of it? If you if you do know, then drop us a comment. And also, if you're new to my channel, if you're not subscribed yet, then please do subscribe. I do appreciate all the subscribers that I'm getting. And don't forget also to hit that notification bell so any other videos and my next videos that I'll be uploading, you will be notified. So you can always catch the videos that I upload like this. So just a few, you can see I've switched to the liner brush now. This is quite a thin liner brush. Just adding in the final details uh, to windows, um, just a few sort of lines here and there. Uh, you can see the um, the f the uh, the lines on the floor, the flags, the uh, pavement, and that that helps give the perspective as well. You can see from the middle it's almost um, vertical, and then either side it's sort of tapered or it goes um, left and right. So that things like that do help with the perspective. So just bear that in mind. And just a few details on this corner of this building here. So I hope you like this video. If you do, give us a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe and bell notification. Uh, thanks for watching. And let me... I'm going to take the masking tape off this. But first I think I'll give this one a signature that's something that i always forget i don't know why i always forget to sign my paintings it's only the last sort of two or three that i've just started doing that so i'll just pop my signature here and then i'll go ahead and take off the masking tape i do enjoy taking off the masking tape it just gives you a a better idea of the painting and what it would look like framed to be finalized and there we go i hope you like it thanks for watching and i'll see you again in the next video take care bye bye